This is our presentation on how technology will affect the corporate real estate landscape. So in the initial brief we were given, there were four main technologies. We found that by categorizing these into two separate sectors, we were able to better understand their impact on a corporation. The first is technologies that affect strategy. So these technologies will ultimately change the decisions that you're making. These technologies are IoT, AI, and blockchain. The second category is execution. Automation will help streamline the processes in your company and help acquire data faster and simpler, but it won't necessarily change the ultimate outcome of your decisions. One of the main things we found was that it was important to put all of these technologies on a technology timeline. This helps us better understand when to watch out for different technologies and their impact on your company. We know that IoT is currently being used today and will continue to be used, followed by AI in a couple of years and blockchain after that. So the very first technology we want to look at is the Internet of Things. The picture you see on screen is a typical modern office space with controlled HVAC and lighting systems. This currently allows for a reduction in OPEX by reducing the amount of energy the building requires. The second key aspect of the system is location tracking. This is a new technology that can be added onto the Internet of Things in order to provide an entirely new feature set. So using Bluetooth beacons, we can have locational tracking for individual employees within a building. Aside from the safety aspects guaranteed by this in terms of a fire drill or emergency situation, you can also create really smart ways of reducing resource use even further. The image you see on screen is of an office park in the Houston, Texas area called City West Place. There are large corporations like Equinor, formerly Statoil, as well as co-working. When seasonal demand increases, these large companies will use the co-working space for their extra employees. In the future, IoT and artificial intelligence will flip that paradigm, with large companies with many regional offices using their extra space and selling it to individuals that want co-working areas. IoT with smart wristbands can help protect against unauthorized access. It can also help managers determine when to let employees work from home in order to anticipate increased co-working demand. Another small example of IoT and artificial intelligence working together is through smart meeting place locations. If there are multiple people on different floors of a building that all need to meet, the software suite can actually prioritize energy savings or time, allowing some employees to walk instead of taking the elevator. In our initial calculations for an eight floor building with 75 employees, this will save approximately $15,000 a year in electricity costs. The third technology to consider is blockchain, which is simply a list of things that need to be verified by everyone adding information to that list. This really helps when changing the corporate workspace from a static establishment to a more fluid workspace that incorporates co-working demand. As we mentioned before, IoT and AI will help companies offset their seasonal demand changes for real estate by incorporating co-working demand. But this increases the risk of unauthorized access and IP theft. A trusted ledger can help document when people are accessing buildings or even specific rooms within a building and can help prevent theft. The second way in which blockchain is effective is through their cooperation with reporting agencies. As corporate sustainability demands increase, not only from consumers but also governments, the Internet of Things and AI will provide incremental increases in efficiency as we expressed in the previous slide. All of this data will need to be protected as expansions into developing markets increase the amount of corruption present in a business's operations. We want to make sure that the efficiency increases reported are trustable, and blockchain can definitely help do that. So as a summary, Internet of Things helps facilitate data. AI is able to take that data and do new and innovative things with it, and blockchain is able to use those new methods in a trusted and safe way. All of these technologies are placed on our technology timeline and should be noted for when they become impactful. The last thing we'd like to highlight is the team. My name is Mandy Patel, and I'm the one giving the presentation today. I led a team last year uh, to win the first place spot out of 757 global teams in Shell's Idea360's competition. The second team member is Elliot Lee. 
He is hosting one of the largest student-run energy summits in the Texas area. Our third team member is Vanya, and she's helped individuals that are underprivileged understand financial literacy. We hope that you've appreciated this report, and thank you for the opportunity to present.